Now this is one of my favorites, the successful teachers. Uh, I'm a teacher myself, not by profession, by, but by education. Uh, I do teach, of course, I instruct, I coach with my company. But this was done in a high school in the US. Uh, Robert Rosenthal from uh, Harvard University did this. He got the principal to call in three of his, his teachers in the beginning of the semester. These teachers were told that we've been observing all the teachers in this school for the last year, and we found out that you three are the best ones. You're the best teachers we have, you have the best methods, and because of that, we want to do an experiment with you. We've put together three classes of extra good, specially uh, abled kids, kids that are above average in, in intelligence and results. We want you to teach these classes, and when the national tests come at the end of the semester, we expect your classes to produce 30% better results than the national average. And uh, of course, you can't tell anyone about this because it's discrimination, and if people know that we're putting kids in special classes because they're intelligent, then we'll get in trouble. They said, fine, sounds like a plan. And they did this. The teachers worked with these special classes for the entire semester, the national tests came out, they did this, and all three classes, on average, was 30% better than the average in the US, in the entire country. Teachers were called back into the principal's office, the scientist was there, and he said, well, we've kind of lied to you. We never observed any of the teachers, we just picked you three at random, the classes you have are not special, they're just normal, average, randomly picked kids in random classes. In fact, you had a completely common class, completely average class, you completely average teachers, but still, within six months, you made these kids produce 30% better results than the rest of the country. Now, that says a little bit about the school system in the US, of course, but it says a lot about what you can achieve with the right attitude. These teachers came into these classes thinking that these kids are amazing, these kids are smart, I have to push them, I have to bring out the best in them, I have to work hard because I have expectations, like the, my principal has expectations of me. I have to work hard, I have to produce the results, and these kids are a perfect group to do it with. Imagine if everyone thought like that with their classes in the US, or in Norway for that matter, people would be a hell of a lot smarter and know a lot more. And it's all in the mind. There's nothing else. In all of these experiments, people have been tricked into showing their true potential.